Hi guys, welcome back to that mini painting garage. I've had multiple requests to get my Italian army and my Papist themed Italian army. As you can see by the Papist, I'm putting up a Swedish flag right now. I really did not go truly historical with these guys because I'm not as much of a historical guy as my dad is. But I, as you can tell by the steam tank, but. <laughs> And the Lanch Connect Ogres. But you can see that I've got multiple units. We can start with this one. This is a unit of Spearmen. So I'm using a mix of Perry Miniatures, uh, War Games Atlantic, some GW, and some other Perry Miniatures that are metal. These are for the 30 Years War, I believe. But the English Civil War. the English Civil War, my bad. But I don't see them as that much. Maybe the handgunners are more like in the era, but I don't see these as that bad. I've got quite a few of them mixed in. So I've also got a unit of another unit of spearmen. These have a papist flag, the keys. I like to say they're the keys to heaven. And then this is a unit of swordsmen. These, overall, I painted them a lot like the Rusted Brush did. I had some contact with them and talked to them a little bit. And generally, just saying, we came up with the Stallion idea at the same time. Like, I was, I saw his video when I was like, when I was just thinking of working on him. His review of the Conquistadors were very helpful too. I mixed some GW bits in. Like this guy, he's a swordsman bits. These are swordsman bits. But it doesn't really... It, it doesn't look bad. I... This is some more parry bits. Hands are a bit small, but he's holding his sword. I even have, this is the sword, the sword's broken, but this is a Deus Volt uh, shield. Then we have some crossbowmen. This is where the uh, Swedish flag is. I just thought I'd use this flag because it's a crossbow, and I think it makes sense, right? Anyone can have a yellow crossbow flag. The paper symbol might not be as, we can, as, like, it's a bit more mutually exclusive, but I don't think that it's that different. I have some Lange Connect. I put different heads on. Now here's where the... For my unit of hand gunners, here's where the... I'm not really following historicals are. Guess what's wrong with this guy for historicals? Hint, it's the Gatling gun. All sorts of kit bashes. These are very quick to paint. I posted a video a while ago, probably like three months ago or something like that. And it was me showing you my work in progress. But. Oops, sorry. I lost him. <laughs> there he is. So, this is showing me work in progress. This is a pistolier head. Then got this guy. He's a bit skinnier than the other guys. Then we have the heroes. This is Peter the Pious. He is a smorgasbord of bits. We've got the Perry Miniatures Light Cavalry. We've got a British paratrooper head. Got a horn and a banner pull from the Vikings and a cross from the Deus Volt guys. So I can use this guy for really any historical-ish priest. I gave him the Christian cross because I feel like it'd just be interesting. This is my paymaster. He is a Blood Bowl elf miniature. I put a Perry head on. He's not anything special. He's he's just an extra hero for when I run out of named characters for my campaigns. <laughs> this guy is an old, old figure that I put a new head on. He 
He's got a great sword. I gave him golden armor because I've seen many conquistadors and stuff like that have gold plated armor because they're very uh, pious. And <laughs> this is the last guy. Oh, besides the ogre. See, he is a newer addition. He has long hair. Now, this guy looks a bit more English Civil War-ish. But at the same time, it's not that different because it's just a livery coat that's really... The, the only thing is the hat and the livery coat that really distinguishes him as English Civil War. But don't pay too much attention. We've got two cannons that are work in progress. I'm showing you the work in progress is now. Oh, yeah. I'm going to show the ogre. So this is a Lanch Connect ogre from... Uh, 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 War Games mm -hmm. Atlantic. He's got the Conquistador Helm, a great sword. I was gonna have six of these and make them Iron Guts just to cause some problems. Or alternatively, I was gonna have three of them with great swords and three of them with pistols and call the three with pistols man eaters. Then we've got the two cannons. The steam tank I made yesterday, I think. I can probably polish it up, but. It works, and then just some sprues for the Lance Connect Ogres. So, generally it's a pretty good kit. I would suggest it. Because it's got lots of bits. It's got even some bits that I can use for Ogrens for 40k for my Trader Guard. And got even some bullets casings. Just looking at the sprue now, again, got a lot of different, got an executioner head, all sorts of stuff. It's got the semi-automatic guns, which I won't be putting on my, uh, fantasy ogres. Ripper guns. Yeah, ripper guns. This aquabus might fit on them. Like a mud belcher. Yeah. I could just generally have a whole Ogre Kingdom's army of this. I don't know what I'd do for the heroes to make them more substantial. Because at the same at the point, there this is a kit with only a few options compared to like if you did a GW. So I'd probably run the bits dry. If that's I'd probably run the bits dry. And like I'd run the bits dry and just use them too many times. Because if anyone who converts says like, knows what I'm saying when it's like, if you put a bid on multiple regular guys, it's not that special for your hero. But, sorry for the stuttering. I have two cannons. This is just an overview. A steam tank. I probably should have six of these. A paymaster, a great sword, a spearman, a priest, two, a cro unit of crossbows, a unit of handgunners, a unit of swordsmen, two units of spears. And that should come up to about 750 points, maybe a bit more with the cannon. Probably 1,000 for one page. These are all for one page because... I don't really want to jump through GW's hoops. I guess I could use them for Cities of Sigmar, unless, correct me in the comments, but, like, I think the Cities of Sigmar are on, uh, 25s. I'm not sure. I could use them for Cities of Sigmar. I don't think Cities of Sigmar use handguns or something like that. I think they... Don't use one of the crossbows options. This is my very limited knowledge of Age of Sigmar. But that is the video. I will probably have another video in the makes soon. I will see you all. Oh, one last thing. This is an old conquistador body. I put the head on him because the other head was way too big. Like I could put it on an ogre. It was that big. But... That is it. Make sure to like and subscribe. I guess. If that works.
for a comedic thing, I'd say the that a certain amount of people aren't subscribed to the channel and how I know. But I don't feel like saying that, except I just said that now. But I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.